Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is In humans our age factor genetic information is inherited from our parents but it is inherited independently of ABO blood type alleles in humans our age positive individuals have the RH antigen on the red blood cells while RH negative individuals do not. There are two different alleles for the RH factor known as RH positive or dominant and RH negative or recessive. Assume that a dominant gene RH produces the RH positive phenotype and that the recessive RH allele produces the RH negative phenotype. In population that is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, if 160 out of 200 individuals are RH positive, calculate frequencies of both alleles. In order to solve this problem, we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula where frequency of the three genotypes that can be produced by two alleles equals to P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared and all this equals 1. In our case, P squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. So take a look, these two genotypes would make one blood group which is going to be RH positive and this one is going to make another phenotypic group which is going to be RH negative blood group. Just for demonstration purpose imagine that we have one parent, let's say this is going to be male who is going to be heterozygous and he is going to be female who is going to be also heterozygous and if we build simple Punnett square this is what we are going to see in the progeny. So positive positive here, positive negative here, positive negative here and negative negative here. As you see two RH positive parents would produce three quarters of the RH positive children but one quarter would be RH negative. This is to the question if two RH positive parents may have RH negative child. Yes, they can. If both of them would be heterozygous for this allele. According to our problem, we know that total number of people 200 and 160 of them belong to this phenotype. That means that 40 out of 200 belongs to the RH negative blood group. And these numbers represent number of people in a sample group. So now we need to convert them into frequencies. So 40 divided by 200, so total number of people would give us 0 0.2. And this is going to be frequency of the RH negative phenotype. And that means that frequency of the RH positive phenotype would be 0 0.8. Or we also can say 80% and 20%. Now, as you see, according to our formula, Q squared stands for the frequency of the 0 0.2. So this genotype, frequency of this genotype equals to 0 0.2. And as you see, between these two alleles, we also can put a sign of multiplication. So that means that frequency of one allele times frequency of the other allele. We also can put the same sign here and here. In order to find frequency of the Q allele, we just have to take a square root of this number and we are going to get 0 0.447. This is rounded number. As you see in Hardy-Weinberg formula, we have only two alleles, allele P and allele Q, or positive allele, which stands for the P allele, and negative allele, which stands for the Q allele, frequency of the Q allele. So we have only two alleles, P and Q, and both these two alleles equal to one, and we know frequency of the Q allele, which is 
four seven, we can find frequency of the P allele, which is going to be zero point five five three. So as you see, now we gave an answer to our question. So our question was in a population that is in Hardy Weinberg equilibrium, if one hundred sixty out of 200 individuals are RH positive, calculate the frequencies of both alleles. And this is frequencies of the alleles. This is uh, frequency of the allele P or positive allele. And this is frequency of the allele Q or RH negative allele. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.